Hey guys, so are we under the law or under grace? And if we're under grace, does that mean that we don't have to follow the law? And if we're under the law, does that mean that we just have to now obtain the things that we've gotten by grace? How does this work? Got a minute? We see Paul and many others in the New Testament trying to divide out and help people understand this very same concept. So Paul wrote this to the Galatians. So the law was put in charge to lead us to Christ that we might be justified by faith. Now that faith has come, we are no longer under the supervision of the law. So this phrasing that the law was put in charge was more like a slave attendant being put in charge of someone who isn't old enough to be able to understand and do things themselves. So instead of really like a teacher or a master, the law was really made in this in this phrasing as a babysitter, a placeholder until they, that we've come to a point where we can grow in a relationship with the, the master. And we see that in the second verse where it talks about we're no longer under the supervision of the law, but we are now under faith. We now have a relationship directly with the Father. The law or a slave attendant wouldn't have a relationship with the master. It would only know the rules and the hard lines that the master makes. The slave attendant hasn't spent time trying to understand the heart and the, the meaning behind things because that's not their job. Their job is to do what they're told, which is the way we see the law. Do what you're told. Now that we are no longer under the law because we have faith in Jesus, we can have a relationship with God and we can understand the heart behind the things that he says. That's why Jesus says he didn't come to wipe away the law because the law is still good, but now we can understand the deeper meaning behind it. Jesus was mad at the Pharisees many times over because the Pharisees put the law and put the uh, traditions that they had above the heart behind it and what God's heart was for the people. And with the Pharisees being the ambassadors and being the, the representation of God the Father on earth, Jesus was really upset with them by misrepresenting the heart of the Father and going too much towards the strict rules as if they were just following the slave attendant instead of the master. In the same way in our life, we need to not put the slave attendant as our master, but we need to put God as our master. And that means seeking after his heart. David is described as a man after God's own heart. And because of that, he was able to enter into things that David shouldn't have. In the same way, under this new covenant, our job is to go after God's heart and to understand why things are put together. So look at your own Christian walk. Do you relate more to the slave attendant, you know, the, the law that, that makes things rigid? Or are you more on the side of grace where you're, you're thinking, well, those things aren't important, whenever the reality is that we have to find ourselves the way to the middle, the middle where we can find that you know the law hasn't been put away right we're not we're not done with it but we can find the heart behind it and we can be able to seek after god in our own life all these things will point us to god if we're open to it thanks for taking a minute